my name is Jessica Dean, and I'm a principal developer advocate here at AWS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Elastic Container Registry, or ECR, to store your container images and how to manage the image lifecycle with ECR lifecycle policies. Let's start with a simple Hello World application. We'll begin by creating a repository to host our images. For each image we want to push, we'll need to define a repository in ECR. Let's go over to the ECR console, and I'm going to click the Get Started button. I have the option of choosing if I want the repository to be public or private. I'm going to choose private. Next, I'm going to give the repository a name, Hello World. There are a number of additional options you can configure, but for now, I'm going to keep this simple and leave everything as default. I'll click Create Repository. I now have a new repository visible in the AWS console. Next, we need to learn how to push and pull our images from this repo. I'm going to click on the repository, and then I'll click View Push Commands. This will give me all the information I need to interact with this repo. I'll copy the first command and paste it into my terminal. This will log me into my newly created repo. Next, I'm going to build my Docker image. This is a simple Hello World example, and I've already created the Docker file for this sample app on my local machine. Let's take a quick look at the image details locally. You can see the image size is 205 megabytes. Next, I'll add the appropriate tags to the image so I can push it to my ECR repository. For this example, I'm just going to use the latest tag. You can add a number of tags to the same image. For example, the latest tag, or you can also add your git commit SHA to identify the image, which is what many CI CD systems will do to create a unique artifact. After building and tagging my image, I'll push my image to my ECR repository. Let's go back into the console and take a look at the image. Great. We now have an image in our registry with the appropriate tag. We also have some additional information about the image. A great feature of Amazon ECR is the images are encrypted and compressed when they're pushed to the repository. This image was about 205 megabytes locally, and here you can see the image was compressed to slightly over 90 megabytes. This helps reduce your storage costs, and it also makes it faster to pull images when you need to run them. Over the lifetime of a project, we'll end up building a lot of images and many versions of these images. This is where ECR lifecycle policy rules will come in handy. A typical workflow is to push images while we develop them. When we merge our feature branch to the development branch, we'll typically give a tag of development with a release number, the same with staging as well. You can see we have five staging images and five development images. In this environment, we never want to roll back more than a few versions of our software. So let's create a lifecycle policy that will preserve our most recent images and clean up older images that will likely not be used again. We'll start by clicking the Lifecycle Policy link on the left. I'm going to test the rules out before actually implementing them, just to make sure I'm not removing something by mistake. I'll click on the Edit Test Rules button, and then I'll click Create Rule. I'll enter a description, for example, Remove Development Images. And for the tag prefix, I'm going to enter Development. I'll select Image Count More Than, set a value of 2, and click Save. I'm going to do the same thing for my staging images as well. I'll create another rule enter a description, and for this one, I'll keep three images, and then click Save. Let's see what these rules will do. After I click Save, I'll click Run Test. ECR will now run a simulation of these rules. The simulation will show which images would be removed as a result of this policy. Great, that looks about right. The three oldest staging images and the two oldest development images are going to be removed. Once I'm satisfied with the rules, I'll click Apply as Lifecycle Policy to make sure that these rules will be applied for all the images in this repository moving forward. This will make sure the repository does not become messy. You can expect the affected images to expire within 24 hours. Want to learn more? Visit Containers on AWS for getting started tutorials and ECS sample applications that will set you up for successful container deployments in production. Thanks for watching.